Rise and shine, sleepyhead. You get good sleep. Good? Good. Because well, I want to have pillow talk. And in today's session of pillow talk, we'll be talking about self-esteem. Or the lack thereof. You know, there's this weird phenomenon nowadays where apparently everyone falls in like the extreme ends of like the self-esteem spectrum. You know, either you're you're conceited, arrogant, and self-absorbed, or you're self-depreciating and you have a terrible low self-esteem. Like I, I really, honestly, I don't get it, and it doesn't seem fair to me. You know, like people are like, oh, self-esteem is attractive. But not too much or too little. It's it's like the whole makeup debate, you know? Um, but yeah, like, most of the time, I, w I feel like people would consider me on the lower end of the spectrum. They would be like, oh, you have low self-esteem. And then, um, if I don't feel great about myself, or I don't think that I look pretty, and, like, I let that be known then it's self-depreciating and it's it's like fishing for compliments or seeking attention and then the flip side when I'm really digging myself and I'm feeling it and like I let that be known and I'm like proud of the way that I look like ooh, look look at the way I fleeked this eyeliner then it's conceited and then I'm conceited and I don't like I don't get it I don't know where that happy medium is. I don't know where the sweet spot is. You know, and I don't think that's that's fair at all. But I mean, think about it. When 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 has it ever been fair, right? And it sucks because then people are shamed into lower selves self esteems like oh. I have a low self-esteem to begin with, and, you know, and when when I do climb up that self-esteem ladder, it always seems like someone's got a problem with it, and maybe that's just the way it works. People like to see other people down. But you know what? At the end of the day, everyone's got their own idea of what self-esteem is, and what it should be, and how it should look. And yeah, everyone has their own idea. It's subjective. That's why it's called self-esteem. You know, it's, it's yourself. So no one's opinion about me, but my own, matters. Huh. Yeah. You know, this is why I need these talks with you. Is because I start to sort these things out on my own. Yeah. I... No one should care about what other people think about the way that they feel about themselves. Because at the end of the day, it's not them living in your body. It's you. And you know what? If you feel like a snack or a whole meal, you know, you, you do you, boo. Don't give a crap about what anyone says about the, the way that you feel about yourself. Ugh. It's ridiculous. I can't believe I let this bother me even for one second. You know, because if, if being conceited means that I like myself a little more than I usually do, all for it. Let me be conceited, you know? Yeah, no one deserves to be shamed for loving themselves. Yep. Mm. I know, it's a little early to be having these rants. I know, you have to get up. Make me coffee. Go get dressed. I love you. Thank you for talking to me. You know I need these. Alright. Go get dressed. Until next time.